Okay, so today we are going over our second technique for painting an aurora. So our, in our first technique, we used a wet on wet watercolor technique and we created something that looked more like a double band aurora. So what we're gonna be focusing on in this technique is wet on wet, but looking at more of what we would refer to as a raid arc aurora. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already prepared my paper, as you can see, and we're gonna repeat the step we did in the last project. We're gonna take our flat brush and we're gonna brush water on it. Now I'm gonna speed this up in the video, but you're gonna take your time and make sure that that's nice and shiny. It's not wet like um, dripping with water, but it's damp and the full thing is covered. Remember to go in both directions both across and top to bottom. Okay, so now I'm ready for my next step. And in this step, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to start with my lightest color and I am going to kind of work almost diagonally a little bit. So I took my paint palette and I activated my yellow, which means I dropped some water on that. So you're gonna be using your paint palette in combination with uh, liquid watercolors that I will provide you in class. And we're going to just find about maybe a third of the way. And I'm gonna work just up and down. And I am working pretty quickly in this, okay? So I'm really gonna build up that yellow because that is my lightest color. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and I am going to switch to my yellow green. I am overlapping these and I am going just up and down. So I'm not moving side to side at all. And in the next step, I'm gonna be adding in some pink, which I will provide you. So some watercolors in pink that are liquid. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow in and really build that yellow up because, again, our yellow is our lightest color, which means um, it's a lot harder to go in later and build that color up. So we're gonna build it up now. and I'm gonna add in some pink here. And in some areas, you may wanna go further up into the sky. And in some areas, you may wanna be lower with that. I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm going to just, I had a little bit of a drip there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna focus on adding in purple. And I don't want these arcs to all be exactly the same. It gets a little bit boring if everything is exactly the same. So there are parts that are gonna be higher up. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna use my darkest blue, that navy blue to darken this corner up a little bit. And I'm gonna go right along the edge of the tape. I noticed some of you did not paint the whole way to the edge of your tape um, when you were look, working on your last painting. You do wanna go the whole way to the edge. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna build up uh, some of that lime green again. rinse my brush and I'm gonna work in some of my blue green now. You know the most common color of an aurora is green so we definitely want to make sure we are seeing some of that green in there but as we know we also see the other colors in the auroras. continue to build the colors up if you want them more vibrant. And I'm going to work in 
some of my medium blue. I'm going to build some of that purple back up. So my brush is pretty much straight up and down. This is going to look almost like tie-dye. And I'm just going to continue to build up those colors until I'm happy with them. And that's the same process you're going to do. So I may speed the rest of this up and then we'll let it dry. Take a look at it once it's done.